Hey friends, uh, today we will see uh, how to create a virtual disk uh, from a storage pool. So as you, as I previously mentioned, storage pool is used to, you know, combine two different uh, media types, like one SSD uh, disk and one HDD disk, so that uh, you can make advantage of the storage pool and uh, reduce the cost. So the files which are frequently used are stored in the SSD disk, while the files which are not frequently used are stored in the HDD disk. So today we are going to create a you know virtual disk with one SSD and one HDD disk. So do the, do that first. You have to create the storage pool. You can refer my other video. Okay, how to create the storage pool. Once you create the storage pool uh, with one SSD disk and one HDD disk, you can create the uh, virtual disk. So to do that, click on Server Manager. Okay, click on File and Storage Services, and click on Storage Pools. So here I have created a storage pool called tier 2 pool. Okay. So right click on the storage pool. Click new virtual disk. Uh, click next. Click next. Give the name for the storage pool. Click next. So, is it uh, whether you want a simple or mirrored or parity storage? So, simple means the data is stripped across the physical disk. Okay. Uh, this increases the throughput but decreases the reliability. Okay. Uh, you can, uh, it will be more faster, but uh, you know, if one disk crashes, then it will be difficult to recover. So one disk fails, then it won't be. The other uh, option is the mirror. So the data, entire data from one disk is duplicated to the other disk. So this is the most preferred option for the file servers. Okay. So if one disk goes down, other disk is available. Parity. The data and the parity information are strict across the physical disk, increasing the reliability, but uh, somewhat reduce capacity. Okay. The storage requires at least three disks to protect you from single disk failure. So at a time if two disks fails, then parity will not work. Uh, you will have outage. Okay. Only if one disk fails, uh, then uh, this will work. So in this uh, configuration, we are going to select mirroring. We want to deduplicate the data between the two disks. Click next. Uh, it will ask the provisioning type. So there are two types. One is the thin provisioning, other is the fixed provisioning. In thin provisioning, the volume space is used from the storage pool as needed up to the volume size. Whereas in the fixed, the volume space from the storage pool equals the volume size. So it's better to always go with the fixed uh, provisioning so that uh, you don't see any latency issues. Uh, I have seen now uh, some applications which are thin provision and uh, they face latency, latency issues like uh, exchange and other things. So click next. Uh, in the free space, uh, select the maximum size. Click next. It will give you the confirmation page. Click create. So now this will create the virtual disk. Okay. And you can use this disk. So click next, click select, click next, click next, uh, give a try letter, I will give it as H, click next, NTFS, default volume label, leave it as it is. Data duplication, whether you want to enable it or disable it. Okay. Click next. 
confirmation page click create so now your uh, new disk is ready in the server so you can see the h drive available so this is how you create a virtual disk from the storage pool uh, I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching.